Who will wash the dishes? The subject of household chores is so painful to some Ukrainian women that they are saying, when I find a guy I'm not going to clean and wash and do the chores, he should do that. Or she should do that. What do you expect? So I decided to raise this question on my speaking club and the audience shared very interesting ideas. And what I thought uh, was uh, the, the, the pain for the household chores appeared to be actually the opposite. So watch this video and you will learn a lot what you know, Ukrainian women think about household chores and I'm going to share it with you. So number one thing. Well, it appears that women think that everyone has to contribute to the household chores. It's not only her or you, but both have to divide what things you do better and what things uh, you have more time for, and then you, you do the chores together. It's not about gender roles. Yes, it's generally accepted that if you're a strong man, you can change the tires and you can mow the loans. And men said that, yeah, that's their job. They don't want their Ukrainian wife to mow the loans or cut the trees in the garden. Uh, but women uh, have said that when it comes to the gender roles, they consider themselves better in designing the house. So man organizes the house and she picks up the beautiful cushions and matching curtains to the wonderful house he gives her. Now, um, there is another reason to be together. Besides the household chores and making it easier to handle um, different everyday living issues, um, people are together not because he can mow the loans and she can wash the dishes or cook, but they are together because they love each other, they have great fun together, they share same key life values. And that was so clearly explained by my audience that I was clapping my hands because, well, now it is the main reason why people actually get married all over the world. And Ukrainian women are in this tendency. Uh, household chores can be very boring, but you can make it an interesting event. And um, ladies and gentlemen shared how uh, you can do it an interesting event and how you can turn it into something that works for both when they uh, are enjoying the boring activities together. Well, as you can see, uh, you need to be part of the um, communication. When you are attending the speaking club, you can hear um, what women say, you can see how beautiful they are, and women look absolutely gorgeous and amazing uh, during my speaking club. And uh, after that, I have uh, like several requests, like not several, but lots of requests for introducing people to each other because women made an effort to speak and to look good and men made an effort to explain certain things to women. Women learned a lot and now they're going to meet each other on one-on-one -on -one sessions that we organize. So the next question for the speaking club was, well, uh, if he or she makes more money, can the person be exempt from household chores? It was a very provocative question that I really wanted to push because some people do think so. And uh, an amazing idea that one of the lady clients said is actually common sense. Because she says if he works long hours, if he makes good living, then his job is a challenging job and it's hard for him to work. He spends a lot of time and energy doing it, so he can't do a lot of household chores and says, I can't expect him not to do a lot of work at home because he's just tired. So I need to do this logically. I need to take care of him because he's providing. See? Uh, common sense. Mm, is a very uh, definite feature that describes Ukrainian women when it comes to uh, building sustainable relationships. Women shared that chores are actually not about the money, but it's about care. So if one person cares about another, they can do this. 
and uh, if you uh, provide well, then you can also show care by sharing some of the responsibilities. Because if she's having a baby, your baby, and uh, walking around with this baby all day long, and you come from a job, you can simply take a baby for a walk while she can do something else, right? And that was shared by the audience. And things like earning money and housework was said that cannot be compared because these are different things uh, that belong to different spheres of life and um, uh, swapping one for another isn't fair what the woman said it's not about uh, who earns more but it's all about support and free time and uh, skills and availability and uh, women agree to do more of the household chores if they have all that plus the support of a man. Men said that they should be leaders in um, creating good house and um, uh, putting the order in the household chores, who does what, and suggesting things, and being proactively supportive in, in sharing those household chores with them in order to have a good and happy relationships. And uh, the thing is also about not making house a mess and uh, creating such, um, such a rule in the house that uh, you and her uh, can keep an order to a certain degree, hire somebody who will support you in doing that, and then just don't be pigs and don't, don't have this super mass and, and keeping it to the, to the degree that you both are happy and it's not distracting you from, from each other. Because definitely the household chores do not want to ruin your love. And it's easy to let it ruin your love if you aren't paying attention to this. Some people are expecting certain things and it comes not about the household chores but about expectations in relationships. So if you are expecting your wife not to work, if she's expecting you to provide, you need to agree about all this at the beginning of your relationship because before you fall into that deeply. And then it will help you not to have a conflict who earns more and who does more at home. And um, as you can see, uh, this video is not only for those men who are looking for a Ukrainian bride, but also for you if you have your relationship already. And I'm suggesting you ideas that you can implement in your family. And uh, maybe some of the thoughts that my speakers have shared will help you organize your household better. So here's the third answer on how can you um, beat the boredom and um, uh, what can you do with the household chores besides hiring a housekeeper who can do this work instead of you? Because it's easy, you just pay the money and the job is done. But there are more things that my audience has shared. And these are things like buying robots, using technical equipment that, hand, that can help you around the house. So let's say a robot vacuum cleaner. It's a good up-to-date washing machine. Uh, guys shared that the American um, dryers are so amazing that you don't need an iron to, for your clothes to look good and neat. And that sounded very tempting for Ukrainian ladies because ironing is a chore that very few people like, actually. Um, engaging children if they are grown in, up and uh, grown up enough and giving them age proper tasks. And funny enough, uh, my godson who lives in America uh, is now thinking that the new Dyson vacuum cleaner that I just bought is his new toy. So he's having so much fun vacuum cleaning, he doesn't even imagine he's doing a household chore. So uh, swapping toys for vacuum cleaners and letting your cats ride on these robots and, 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 and do the house is something of an idea, right? You need to agree on the house rules and agree on the rules uh, of the order 
when it is messy. Uh, conflicts arise when a woman comes home and the dishes aren't done. But if you agree that every dish goes to a dishwasher right after the use, there are no dirty dishes. If you agree that the, the sink gets emptied like at this hour in the evening, in turns, him or her, then it's a rule. If you write down those rules on a fridge and just um, magnet them over there, it's easy. So it's all about agreement. Of course, it's not a marriage contract and you cannot contract every household chores like you agree, uh, but you can certainly talk about it and change it with him or her being more busy, with uh, him or her being more available and interested in certain things more. And um, the audience said, and women were very happy to hear, that these things can change. Uh, so while she doesn't work, she can do more chores. When she gets a career or gets some certain studying, they agree on other rules. And it's like everywhere else in relationship, you agree on on things and you re-agree or change the agreement when circumstances change and then you don't get into this uh, hoop of uh, uh, stress and anxiety when you agreed on one thing and then another thing is happening. Some people said that if you have a house that is too big the chores are immense and you, the work is never done, but it's only two of you living in the house. So it's a good idea to, to, to move to a smaller house. And it's not a bad idea, as some people said. And it's about us, the general idea. It's all about us. It's not about me doing the chores. It's not about you doing chores. It's about us. It's not about only you or me. It's about us sharing all these household chores together. So together we can have a happy family. See, we have a very nice discussion at my speaking clubs and I'm welcoming you to join the club. Uh, follow me in the Telegram channel for men. You can see uh, the link uh, to join the channel in this video and uh, join the club and you will see who are Ukrainian ladies that I represent, how they look, how they speak and maybe, just maybe, your wonderful Ukrainian woman will be right there waiting for you at the club.